Hello everyone and welcome back to SSB Crack Exams. I am Andrada and in this particular session I am back with a very important notification that you all have been waiting eagerly for. Ji ha, aap logo ne sahi suna hai aur jaise aapko pata hai ki aaj technical entry scheme 46th course ke liye application procedure chalu ho chuka hai. The Indian Army has published the TES 46 notification and the application process has started from today that is 7th of October 2021 for the candidates who have completed 12th standard with physics, chemistry and mathematics, right? So if you are one of those who want to join the cadet training wing that is MCEME, -E, CME, MCTE colleges, then this is your chance guys. So before we go into how you can start applying for this technical entry scheme into the Indian Army, let's look into the notification of TES 10 plus 2 entry 46 course uh, in a very detailed way. So as you know that Indian Army is published the TES 46 notification for the candidates who have completed 12 standard with PCM that is physics, chemistry and maths with an aggregate of 60%. Online applications for Technical Entry Scheme 46 course is now open on www.joinindianarmy.nic.in and the application process has started from today, 7th October 2021 and it will continue till 8th of November 2021. So, these dates are guys, let's note this note, it's very kafi important dates. TES application, ke liye. 7th October to 8th of November 2021. Right now, who can apply for the TES entry 46th course, which will commence on in January 2022? Now, if you are an unmarried male candidate who have passed 10 plus 2 examination with physics, chemistry, and mathematics, that is PCM subjects, for the grant of permanent commission in the army after four years of basic military and technical training, then this is your chance, guys. And second important thing, which is a little bit a new addition to this entry from this year, is that JEE mains 2021 has been made mandatory for TES 46 course or abhi se ye JEE mains jo hai wo compulsory rahega. Alright, so what is the eligibility criteria? Let's check your eligibility before you start applying through TES 10 plus 2 entry. Your age limit should be between 16 and a half to 19 and a half years. That is, you should not be born before 2nd July 2002 and not after 1st July 2005 where both the days are inclusive. This means that your date of birth jo, uh, is particular entry ke liye eligible hai, that should not be before 2nd July 2002 and it should not be after 1st July 2005, okay? And if your date of births are on the same days, that is 2nd July 2002 and 1st July 2005, you are also eligible. Now, let's look into the educational qualification. As this, uh, I have already uh, described to you about the educational criteria. Only those candidates who have passed 10 plus 2 examination or its equivalent with a minimum aggregate of 60% marks in PCM that is physics, chemistry and maths from recognized education boards are eligible to apply for this entry. So this is a very important criteria which you have to keep in mind. You have minimum aggregate hona 60% ki in PCM and you should have passed 10 plus 2 examination or its equivalent. Now, not only this, your eligibility condition for calculating PCM percentage of various state or central boards will be based on marks obtained in class 12 only. So, class 12 ke marks pe hi ye depend karega your eligibility criteria for educational qualification. Another most important thing jo isi saal addition hua hai aur wo hai JEE means that I have already told you that it has been made obligatory for TES entry from TES 46 course onwards yani ki isi course se isi saal se ye chalu ho gaya hai ki aapka jee mains ke jo marks hai wo obligatory ho gaya hai you should have also passed jee mains now look let us look into the selection procedure aapka selection kaise hoga through this entry now first of all as you know written examination aapka nahi hoga direct entry hai ye so shortlisting kaise hoga jaise hi aap applications fill up karoge integrated headquarters of ministry of defense army reserves the right to shortlist applications based on cut off percentage applied as decided cut off percentage pe aapka shortlisting start hoga applications ka and it is the right of integrated headquarters of uh, mod army 
to shortlist the applicants. Now, after shortlisting candidates, the center allotment will be intimated to the candidate online. After allotment of selection center, that is for your SSB interview, candidates will have to log into the website and select their SSB dates on a first come first serve basis. So SSB ke jit dates se wo aapko select karna hoga, and it will be obviously available on a first come first serve basis. Next is your SSB interview. Now, if you are shortlisted and you are intimated for SSB interview, you are eligible candidates because you are shortlisted candidates. And depending on the cutoff percentage, you will then be called for SSB interview at one of the selection centers. Our selection centers are either Allahabad, UP, or Bhopal, which is an MP. Ya fir Bangaluru, which is in Karnataka, or Kapurthala, which is in Punjab. And the SSB interview will be conducted by psychologists, group testing officers, and interviewing officer. Call up letter for SSB interview will be issued by respective selection centers on candidates' registered email ID and SMS only. So make sure, guys, that you are not changing your email ID or your phone number till the selection procedure is over. Kyuki, it is only through your email ID and SMS that you will be informed about your respective selection centers now those of you who have already started applying for this particular entry or who will go to apply who will be going to apply obviously i would suggest that you start also preparing for your ssb interview as soon as you have completed your application procedure since you all know that uh, this will be completely direct entry based therefore ssb interview ke liye tayari aap start kar sakte hain by getting enrolled into the ssb interview online course jo humne recently launched kiya hai and it is one of the best ssb interview online courses in the entire market so how you can enroll yourself very easily guys aapko hamare ssb crack exams ke app ko download karna hai from the google play store aur uske baad aap ssb interview online course ko enroll kar sakte hain jahan pe comprehensively day 1 se leke day 5 tak ssb interview ke cover kar chuke hain hamare top notch recommended tutors and jo aapko ye help karenge samajhne mein ki ssb interview ko kaise crack karna hai so guys now we will also continue with the selection procedure so after your ssb interview if you are obviously qualifying the SSB interview, you will be called for the medical examination. And after that, the a merit list will be published. So it must be noted that mere qualifying at the SSB interview does not confirm final selection. You have to appear for your medical examination because merit list will be prepared on the basis of your marks obtained by uh, the candidate at SSB interview. Okay. And Candidates recommended by the SSP and declared medically fit in the medical exam will be issued joining letter for training in the order of merit depending on the number of vacancies available. So obviously SSP interview ke marks or aap medically fit hai ya nahi is pe depend karke hi aapka naam merit list mein publish kiya jayega. So these are the very important selection procedures for your TES entry into the Indian Army for your 46th course. Now let's look into the procedure for common candidates. So, technical entry scheme wale candidates or NDA ke jo candidates honge, unke liye kuch common procedure hai jo follow kar kiya jayenge. So, I hope that you will also take note of this very important procedure which will be common for both TES and NDA entry candidates. So, let's look what is that procedure. First of all, candidates who apply for 10 plus 2 technical entry scheme and National Defense Academy, that is NDA and NA, parallel courses need to undergo a medical examination. So, TES or NDA entry ke jo candidates honge, un logo ko dono ko hi ek medical examination ke through jana parega, which will be conducted by a board of service medical officers for the entries recommended. Next, candidates who are recommended for technical entry scheme prior to their NDA SSP will have to undergo medical for TES and NDA, that is Air Force and Navy, separately. Okay. Next is that if only NDA Army is their preference, the TES candidates need not undergo NDA medical again. The NDA medical examination will begin only after the candidate is declared fit in TES medicals. Next, candidates who are recommended in NDA prior to SSB for TES need not undergo medical for TES separately. So, if you have already recommended NDA recommended for TES, you will need to give SSB for uh, for TES, un loko TES ke liye alag se medical dene ki zarurat nahi hai. The medical status for TES 10 plus 2 will be same as NDA for Army Medical Examination. A candidate declared unfit in NDA will be considered unfit for TES as well. So these are very important points guys that you should note. Next we will move on to your training provisions. 
तो ट्रेनिंग देखते हैं कैसे होंगे आपके जो लोग टी एस एंट्री से इंडियन आर्मी में भर्ती होंगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपकी बेसिक मिलिट्री ट्रेनिंग होगी एक साल का इन दी ऑफिसर ट्रेनिंग अकेडमी गया नॉ फॉर द लास्ट टू ईयर्स दिस इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज नो बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड सिचुएशन ओ टी ए गया ट्रेनिंग फॉर द बेसिक मिलिट्री वन इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस सो बेसिकली योर टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग विल बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फेज वन विच विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्री कमीशन ट्रेनिंग और ये तीन साल का होगा इन योर रिस्पेक्टिव यू नो अकेडमीज लाइक सी एम ई पुणे और एम सी टी ई मऊ और एम सी एम ई सिकंदराबाद After that, there will be phase two training, which is the post commission training for one year in your respective academies. Again, that is CME Pune or MCTE Mau or MCME Secunderabad. Now, talking about award of degree, candidates will be awarded engineering degree after successful completion of the final examination. Okay, and it will be given by JNU. No antidote will be admissible to candidates on account of this engineering degree. Sir, engineering degree मिलने के बाद ही आपको antidote नहीं मिलेगा. So now there are certain things that you also you need to consider for TES ten plus two entry forty sixth course. The vacancies for this course is ninety. Now the vacancies are provisional and it is uh, subject to change depending on the training capacity at the training academy for this course. For any other updates, please check the official notification of this particular entry. Type of commission on successful completion of four years of the course, cadets will be granted permanent commission in the army in the rank of lieutenant. So, four years' training ke baad, aur aapka course complete ho jaane ke baad, aapko permanent commission milega Indian army me, aur wo bhi lieutenant ke rank pe. Next, we will come to seniority, and candidates will be granted seniority on overall order of merit of the three technical institutes combined, that is CME, MCTE, and MCME. And in case the date of commissioning coincides with that of IMA Dehradun, they will be placed in block junior to IMA, that is NDA, ACC, or DE course, but above TGC or UES course. Okay. Now we will move on to. हाउ टू अप्लाई तो इतने सब कुछ आपको जान लेने के बाद आई होप नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग फॉर द टेक्निकल एंट्री स्कीम फोर्टी सिक्स कोर्स इज एन इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट दी एप्लीकेशन फॉर दिस एंट्री विल ओनली बी एक्सेप्टेड ऑनलाइन तो सिर्फ ऑनलाइन ही एप्लीकेशन है और ऑनलाइन ही एप्लीकेशन एक्सेप्टेड होगा and in order to apply online for the tes entry 46th course you need to click on the online application button which will be available on the website that is www.joinindianarmy.nic.in so, so through this official website only you can start your application process for the tes entry now then guys it is time for you to note down the important dates for this particular entry and the tes 46 application start date is today which is 7th of october 2021 and please note down the end date the closing date for the tes 46 application as well which is on 8th of november 2021 so make sure guys that you have completed you know applying for this particular entry by 8th november 2021 because that is the last date for the application The TES forty six SSP dates will be given between November and December twenty twenty one, and the merit list for this entry will be published around January twenty twenty two. When also your course for the TES forty six entry will start. Now, guys, as I've already told you, this is a direct entry, and you should also start preparing for SSB interview as soon as you have applied for this entry. So, do not wait any more. Just after applying, make sure that you're also getting yourself enrolled into the SSB interview online course that we have launched, and you can get access to this course by downloading our app from the Google Play Store. काफी reasonable prices में हम ये course आपके लिए offer कर रहे हैं, जहाँ पे आपको comprehensive और insightful knowledge मिलेगा about SSB interview and how you can crack the SSB interview. you and be successful right so guys those of you who also want to go for other written examination based defense examinations you can obviously purchase our courses by downloading our app from the google play store and getting in yourself enrolled into different examination courses related to defense that we have provided for you so in short you can access all these through our app only so download our app today and use the code warrior10 to get an extra 10% off on all courses So that was it guys I hope that this session has been quite useful to you and that you will start applying for the TES entry 46th course as soon as it is open so I will wish all of you best of luck and all the best also do not forget to start preparing for your SSP interview as soon as you have applied for the TES entry this year so guys I will bid you all adieu start working hard and always stay motivated positive 
एंड ऑलवेज स्टे ट्यून्ड विद एस एस बी क्रैक एग्जाम्स जय हिंद